Okay, this one's about, well, that's a brand name, but it's a booster that you can put on your uh, anything with a compressor on it. You know, heat pump, air conditioner, whatever. If it does not have a hard start kit, you can put this thing on. It's a real quick and easy thing because it just mounts right across the run cap. Uh, what makes these things tick? And are they any good? Okay, here's one that I've taken the top off of. There's a top there, and the rest of it's just a start cap. That's all it is. There's nothing else to it. Okay. Inside here are the things that actually make this thing work. And let's take a look at those things. Okay, here's a look at those buttons when we take them out. And they kind of fit like this. So you got it sandwiched in between the two, uh, two wires. One wire is going either to start and run, and this other one is going to the cap, which goes to the opposite or of start and run, whichever one it is. So uh, there's uh, just continuity through there. The continuity when it's cold, when it heats up, the continuity goes away. That's all there is in there, nothing else to them. Okay, note, I've got this place in the vise, and I've got an ohmmeter up there. I'm going to check the resistance. Okay, you can see we're running about 30 ohms resistance cold. Uh, when I did this with the PTC start device, uh, I ran about 32 ohms, which is pretty much the same thing. There's two of them, so the ohms is going to be more like 15 or 16 because they're in parallel so let's warm it up before I warmed it up with by just heating it by putting power to it I'm going to use a torch this time Now notice, and as this cools down, it's going to go back to the original resistance. So that's all it does. Very, very simple. So what's the value to this device? Okay, I told you earlier, all you do with the two wires here is you just put them on the run cap. Put them across the run cap. Okay, if you put this in, it does provide a fairly big start assist. The capacitor that's used in it is about 135 to 150 uh, microfarads, which isn't huge, but it will provide a start assist. Uh, note this cannot be started and then the compressor shut off and then immediately started back up again. If you do that, you lose the ability of this thing to operate because these buttons, remember the buttons, have gotten hot and have high resistance and they're not going to allow power through. So how do I wire this thing? I wire it on the run cap between start and run. So what it's going to do is add a boost to that start winding. These things have some value for starting compressors uh, using hard start. Now, I don't recommend hard starts on a compressor that does not come from the factory with a hard start. If it has a non-bleed TXV, yeah, it does need it. However, a hard start kit puts quite a bit of pressure on the windings as it starts. There's a, there's a pretty good torque on those uh, windings. So running it just simply as a PSC motor is probably the best way if it'll work. What I found these to have value for, very simply, if I went out on a call, customer had a lock rotor compressor, 
I tested the run cap. The run cap was good because that run cap's not good. It's, the compressor's not going to start. It's good. So I go ahead to start the thing and I put one of these on it and it starts. Okay. Have I repaired it? Life is good for everlasting. Of course not. This is a fix. It's not a repair. Let's take a situation. A person has a 20 year old heat pump. Won't start. I come out. I put the super boost on and it starts. Okay, then it's running okay. And I try it several times and it starts each time. I, what I can tell the customer is you can replace the compressor, replace the outdoor unit right now, and I can guarantee it's going to work good. I can leave this super boost on and it may start for two days, two months, two years. But it's getting towards its last legs and it is going to fail. I think it's a viable thing to put on one of these uh, compressors that is getting tired. And maybe it'll give a little more life. I've had them average out probably about six months to a year. They go, some of them go, I get a call in two weeks and they say, no, it's failed. Uh, but it could be any of those things. So Super Boost, that's how they're put together and that's their value. I would not just put one of these on a piece of equipment just because I wanted a hard start. Hard starts, like I said, not the greatest idea out there anyway. Only if you have to have them. The compressors will take it, they're designed to take it, but I think your life would be a little bit longer if they did not have a hard start. So, a little bit of a fix, kind of an interesting way they put those things together. And uh, maybe you can give them a little more life to an old tired compressor.